Hi everyone, and in today's video for PSO 2 NGS, I'm going to cover a few of the things you may not have seen in this week's update. Hi everyone, and in today's video for PSO 2 NGS, I'm going to cover a few of the things that you may not have noticed in the um, update for this week. So, as you may be aware, one of the main things that we're getting this week with NGS is we're getting an update to the Lucille exploration quest. So we're getting increased Emmy levels, we're getting some new buffs that they're throwing in as well. So we're going to have the ability to do consecutive photon blasts and also a buff to uh, throwing actions. There is also a couple of new bosses that they're adding in as well. So we are getting uh, Ruin Vibras and Ruin Exegol. That also comes with a 10 star weapon series as well. Next up, we have the all ship matchmaking, which again is probably something you already know about. So this is something that we're trialing with the Lucille Exploration Quest, where you'll be able to matchmake with other players on different ships. So you won't just be confined to the ship that you're playing on. Now, one thing you may not know about this is there are a few little restrictions with it that it didn't actually explicitly go through in the NGS headline. So first of all, on the website, it does actually say that unlike PSO2 Universal Ship Quests, all end Mazetta and items earned during all ship matchmaking will be obtainable. So that does differ from base game PSO2. However, there are a few restrictions that you do need to be aware of as well. So the first thing is that when all ship matchmaking is enabled, Sega have said that the, the following features will be completely unavailable from the start of matchmaking until you've completed the quest. So you won't have any of your alliance or friend related features. So I'm assuming that means that you won't have any alliance chat um, or friend chat potentially. Um, I'm assuming anything to do with your friends list won't work because you're matching with people from different ships. Uh, also, group chat won't work. And they've also said that some shop features won't work as well, which I'm assuming is maybe to do with your player shop possibly because that would only be confined to your ship. So just be aware that if you are doing the all ship matchmaking, you won't have access to any of your alliance or friend related actions. Um, however, you don't have to use all ship matchmaking. There is an option to turn it off, so you can untick it in the matchmaking options and that will just keep it so that you only match with people from your ship. And if you do that, you'll still be able to use your alliance and um, friend features. So I just wanted to point that out because I don't know if anyone, if many people are aware of that. Um, I certainly wasn't aware of it until I looked at the website recently. So the next thing just to touch on briefly is the tech art customizations. Again, we, are, we all knew that we were getting these already. Um, just a little note on these is that we are also getting some balance adjustments for existing ones. So if you weren't aware of that, we are also getting some balance tweaks to the uh, tech art customizations that are already in the game. So next up, we also have some very different um, just general tweaks to the game as well. So they have mentioned a couple of these on the headline. So the big one is that augment capsules such as Endemio and Astrio will now be able to be used directly from the um, enhancement menu. So Previously, what you would have to do is you would have to turn gold swords into these capsules, add the capsule to a weapon, and then use the weapon as a fodder. They're now making it so you can just use the capsules directly as enhancement materials, which should simplify the grinding process a lot. The next thing is they're also adding a tag called not a material item to weapons and gear that can't be used as enhancement materials. So an example of that would be if you've noticed the... I think I might have them with me actually. So these armors, the f distant armor, you cannot use these as grind materials for some reason. For some reason you cannot use those as enhancement materials, but there's nothing in the game currently that tells you that. So they are actually adding a tag to them to let you know that you won't be able to use them as enhanced materials. I still think it's pretty stupid that you can't use them as, enhan as enhanced materials. I think that anything should be able to be used, but this is better than nothing. You'll also get an additional thing on weapons and armor which will show you the maximum enhancement level written in orange. So you should be able to see at a glance easier um, how high something can be enhanced. There's also going to add a, a what's called a wanted item list. So this is items that you can add to that so that you can keep track of items that you want to go for. I, I think this relates more to grinding. So for example, you might need some capsules for augmenting. So I'm assuming the way this is going to work is maybe adding certain augment capsules to your wanted list and then You've got those listed so you can go and look for them so you can keep track on what you need it's probably quite similar to the system that's used in um, games like monster hunter rise where you can add gear to like a wish list now moving on to the creative space there's a couple of little additions and tweaks that are getting made to the creative space hence why i'm here 
The first thing is that they're adding a kudos feature to the GP tree. So now the way it works is in the creative space, you can actually send kudos from your GP tree directly. And when you send kudos, you get star gems. It's only a couple, I believe you get one or two star gems. I think it's in that you want without premium and two with premium. They're also for the design save slots. So design slots, if you don't know what they are, they are where you group a selection of parts together to make something and you can set them as a design, which means you can then place it again quickly. So an example of this would be if I just come out of this camera menu. So this jet that I've got built over here, um, that is a design. So I'm able to just essentially take that design and then place it anywhere else in the creative space all in one go without having to rebuild the whole thing. So that's the what the designs are. The reason I mention them is because we're also getting an ability where the, the number of saved design slots is going to get doubled from 20 to 40. So if you're someone who spends a lot of time in creative space, this should be really, really useful and will help you save a lot more things as designs, which should streamline making things in creative space a lot easier. We're also adding some more creative space limited time tasks, which will let you earn Genesis points as well. Genesis points you can then use for unlocking things like furnishings. You can unlock different build parts. So a few little changes to the creative space. Again, we just seem to be getting these little iterative changes to the creative space to make the um, experience a little bit more pleasant. When it first launched, there was a lot of issues with it. Um, it. It was fun to build things in, but there was a lot of issues with getting placement right. And I know recently we have had a, an update as well that allows you for, for more fine placement on parts, which I think is really useful. We also are getting a couple of little changes. So for the, for the daily tasks, we are getting the region designations removed. So it will essentially mean that instead of having to farm, for example, fruits in Steer, you'll be able to farm fruits anywhere. So it should just make the dailies even easier to do. I don't feel like it was massively needed because I, I always feel like the dailies were no more than a five minute job anywhere. So one more thing is we're also getting, this is only for premium set users, but we're getting the ability to pause emotes in easy photo mode. So easy photo mode is, this is the enhanced one. Easy photo mode is this one here where you can essentially select it. You can get your character to look at the camera. You can get them to do different expressions. You can get them to, you know, do different expressions like that. You can get them to do lobby actions as well. She won't do it at the moment because she sat down, but that's easy photo mode. What they're doing is they're adding the ability to, so that if you do an emote in easy photo mode, you'll be able to pause it, which will allow you to take, take screenshots a lot easier. Because there are some emotes that have really good points where you want to take a photo, but because your character's moving, it's quite hard to stop your character at the right time or get the right photo. So this should make it a lot easier to do that. The downside is it is only restricted to premium set users. So you will need a, a, an active premium subscription to take advantage of that. So just a really, really quick video today, just to show you guys some of the things that you may have missed that are coming in the forthcoming up update. I am planning on doing a sort of review video of NGS probably next week. Um, what that will be, it, it, I did another video in about July last year where I looked at the current, the current state of the game at the time. And what I want to do is I want to do something similar again. Now that we've you know had quite a few months pass, I want to do another similar video just to see where we stand with NGS at the moment. Because it's probably no surprise to anyone who follows NGS content that the game is very, very divisive. A lot of people really, really don't like the game. A lot of people are quite big fans of it. So there is a very big divide with the player base on NGS at the moment. And I want to kind of revisit that previous video and just see if anything's changed since it. So I'll try and have that up for next week, hopefully. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please consider liking, and subscribing, and joining as a member. I do two videos a week, and I also do a stream on Sundays where we typically play usually one of the older fantasy stars like PSO or PSU. Uh, occasionally we'll play over things like Monster Hunter as well, but it's predominantly Fantasy Star. You can also follow me on Twitter or X, which is at Section Skyline. I post on there whenever I'm going live. And you can also feel free to um, to follow the updates on the channel with, through the community posts as well. So, hope you've had a good day. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.